We still have a little bit of a crowd right beyond the barricade there, um, the closest to the building where this happened. And um, they're still trying to see what's going on. You can see now tow trucks are being brought in. Now we do know that um, we assume, we have heard that um, there are still some vehicles up there that may have been involved in this. I don't know young Dolph's vehicle, if it may still be up there, but we do have um, some tow trucks. We've seen two that have come through and this one going through now, um, maybe actually getting ready to remove some of the vehicles that may have been involved in this. We have not gotten close enough to actually see any of those vehicles. And I know Jarita talked about what type of vehicles that young Dolph had and um, how he had bulletproof vehicles and that kind of thing and not being sure what he was in at that time. But um, all of this obviously apparently happened inside the store when he was outside of the vehicle possibly this is what we're hearing that talk that's going around now but they're moving um in with the with the um tow trucks to move some of the vehicles out police now going in beyond the barricade but um it really has quieted down here a lot with the the citizens that are just standing around but um still some but um not as many as it was before when this initially happened all right, thank you, April. April, I have a question for you. Does it appear that any active search is going on in that area? I know you said police haven't been telling you much, but does it look like they're searching for anyone? We can't tell whether they're searching for anyone or not, but we know they're talking to a lot of people. Now, we have seen a lot of police officers in uniform talking to people, and as you know, Stephanie and Alex, there are probably tons of undercover, um, plainclothes police officers that are out here now and getting out in, in the community, talking to people who knew him, talking to um, people that may have known any kind of beefs that may have existed between him and anybody else, so I'm sure they're out doing that. And that individual that um, I'm I talked to and said they were meeting with the higher ups. Um, they're probably saying the same thing that um, they're out trying to talk to people because, as we said, somebody knows what happened. Somebody knows that this was going to happen. And somebody knows where the people who did this are right now. So, what they're trying to do is to um, get out in the streets and talk to people and get people to open up. A lot of times, when things happen, and we know it in our community, when crime happens, people don't want to say anything. They want to be quiet. Um, they don't want to get involved. And um, they're hoping because of who Young Dolph was that that might prompt some people to finally say something, saying enough is enough. I know something. I'm going to, you know, say what I know. And that's what it's going to take to help police to um, kind of solve this, too. That's why they say the community involvement is so important because the people are the eyes on the streets and they know um, anything that's going on and they know when it's happened and they know what happens afterwards. And that's what they're going to um, kind of depend on as well to be able to, to get this solved, Stephanie. All right. Thank you, April. We're going to let you go back and gather some more information and we'll check back with you uh, a little later.